Guys, this football culture is very serious here. It's not a game. I am here with Alexis and my sister Deshauna. Um, Deshauna. I mean, um, mm. dang, Dariana. You know I know your name. Because okay. she's looking at you. I'm so used to saying to you. You know I know your name. Stop. Stop. What is her yeah. name? I'm about to cut it. I'm about to cut it. Nah, it's fine. Hey, let's go, boy. Let's go, hey. Hey, 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 Man. Go out there and hey, smack hey, somebody. Hey, 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 hey knock somebody out. Woo, you good? Hey, look. Let's go, Brayson. What you do, Bernie? Uh, I'll tell you. Oh, my God. So this little guy on the other team, the black is the other team and the purple is Brayson's team, y'all. This little kid was taking off, taking off, okay? But look at my baby in the purple running after him, running after him. Go, number three. Go, number three. He did so good. He really did. Um, he was the only one on his team who was able to catch up with this little boy. That's my baby. Why are you taking a picture of people's cars? Brayson, it's not the actual car, it's the bumper sticker. Brayson, why don't you let me live? I'm trying to vlog. Why are you always like in my business? Because you... what if somebody doesn't want that? Brayson, I don't care what they want. What if they sue you? This is America. But, but what if they sue you? They can't. This is the home of the free. No, for real, but what if they sue you and, and they win? Brayson, then I'm a run. I'm off to Africa, period. <laughs> But mom, wait, what did that sign say? It said, gun save lives. That's my baby sister, by the way. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I always wanted, and all I got was baby brothers. Oh. <laughs> sisters are pretty good. You can take yeah. me. I got sisters as well. You're my favorite auntie because you let us at ice cream and cake for breakfast. Shh. Secrets, AJ. Secrets. But, and she make us do homework, and it's actually fun. Yes, I do make you do homework. And it oh, is. and she makes a download educational game called Adventure Academy, but I got to re-download it. Yes, yes. Auntie always is with the educational fun. I love you, AJ. Thank you. So football season in America is a very serious thing. A lot of people train their kids in hopes of putting them in the NFL from like the time that they can walk. And Brayson's dad is just one of those people. So this is an elite team. I know all moms are like, oh my God, my son is the best. He's the best football player. But like, not for real. Like Brayson, Brayson brings the heat, y'all. He's MVP. He is the team captain. His dad is one of the coaches, and he also played football in high school but didn't have the GPA to go to a D1 school, so he had to go to a D3, and, like, he just not really built like Brayson. Brayson's better built than him. We'll probably go further. Um, no offense to you, Mo. But there's my baby daddy kicking me off the field. <laughs> but, yeah, so this team is 9U. Each year has their own kind of – team so eight you seven you nine you Brayson has been playing since five you so this is his fourth year playing organized football it's very expensive the helmet alone was three hundred dollars you have to pay travel fees and all these things so we definitely spent a lot of money for him to be able to be out here but it's something that he really loves and enjoys I have never really enjoyed football but I do go to support him and watch him do well My baby daddy right there, y'all. Little but crazy. He is he's a little guy but full of real crazy, y'all. Lord help me. Can sometimes we get lost in the song. 
So, you know, black people can never be on time. The game was supposed to start at 4 p.m. They didn't start until 6.30, so the kids started playing through the night, and there were still three games that had to take place after this game. They usually last for about an hour and a half, and the kids really have been there since, like, 1 p.m. practicing. So the days are pretty long, but you can tell that they love it, and they won. Good job, Bray. Bro, he hopped. He hopped number uh, one. Racing? Yeah. Bro, yeah, he hit the Bracey, you don't even know where the car is. You're walking off to where. Chill out. We just want to take a picture with the MVP. So the game ended around like 9, and this little boy had a birthday party after the game. Y'all, it smelled like straight butt cheeks and armpits in here. But... He wanted to celebrate his birthday with his team, celebrate the win. So it was a birthday party slash celebratory event. These kids was dancing. Like the music was so ratchet. Thank God I can't even play it because it was copyrighted because they was cussing too, y'all. These new age kids, like I'm sitting here side eye embracing, trying to be a cool mom, but I don't like it when kids just be doing all that. I really don't, but it was a good time. Oh my god, uh, we stumbled upon a total wine. Oh my god. So she's never been to a total wine. So yes. it's literally like an entire grocery store full of um you guys take a guess, like wine. <laughs> How wonderful. So we're gonna go check that out. Um wine is really, really expensive in Kenya. Even when I was staying in Ghana, wine is really expensive, but um, How expensive gonna, is it? Like, girl, you know that wine that's in Target by the cash register? Yeah, like the, the California cheaper. Roots one yeah. that's like five dollars. You know that shit is sixteen dollars in Nairobi. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that is expensive. That's expensive. If that's dirt wine, <laughs> that is the worst. That's the lowest of the low. It's like ready to give you a headache. Yeah, yeah. and it's sixteen dollars. I'll be telling y'all. So now I'm gonna show you guys. So I have always really been a wine connoisseur. I drink a lot of vodka and stuff when I'm out the country because a lot of countries just are not really well versed on wines unless they have a winery. So even South Africa, to be honest, y'all, the wine is not really giving. So I've heard because I have not visited a winery myself in South Africa, but it does not really compare to wineries in California throughout South Africa america throughout europe like it's kind of like bottom tier-esque that's just what i heard on the streets but i do love wine so total wine is a great place they have like aisles dedicated to just a section of wine so on your left this is just the chardonnay aisle all of these are chardonnays to the right it's just the pinot grigios all of them are pinot grigios you know um you, I think there was like three aisles of sparkling, which is just wild. So they also had tastings. Me and my sister were able to taste the specific wines that they had available. 
we started off with the whites and then we went on to the reds to the pinot noir so this is something that's really fun i would honestly just come here every saturday to do a little free tasting and chat they were really knowledgeable on the wine as well they have a chiller that automatically chills your wine in five minutes it's crazy okay a little bit of vanilla notes to it but Ooh. super smooth a little bit of like creaminess to the finish this is so good. Isn't it so good? Yeah. Mm. It's always this like tastes like Josh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like the I Josh shard. It has, a, little, it has a creamy, a little, yeah, yeah, that cream at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've tried the Josh brand of uh, that one. You're so annoying to get this close <laughs> to my face. Like, yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> oh what? There's so many. Yeah. Uh, two and then two Cabernet. Oh, wow. The red section. This is lit. I knew that it was going to be rough for me when I was in Ghana and they brought out red wine on ice. That is the biggest taboo. Oh, no. Like, that would just be the creme de la creme for me if more wineries were to come from Africa. I don't know if the soil is conducive. But I really am a lover of wine. I have visited Willamette in Oregon just for the wine i'm really a big wine though i'm not even really into alcohol like that so these are pinot noirs we tried the cabernet sauvignon um and they were just really really sweet we just went all around beautiful bottles and it's cheaper that's the crazy part it's very cheap all right you guys so this is actually one of my favorites that i have not had in so long so i'm gonna go ahead and choose this my sister is going with something light they sell like really cool wine accessories here as well Look liquor accessories Bro, you do not need anything else please just put use a real shoe at home <laughs> you're so annoying shut <laughs> up swear to god Look, but it's so cute girl yeah. please my sister's oh my getting this Moscato. I know you guys. I know. I'm sorry. You guys had to see that, but um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna try, and yeah, uh, this is one of my favorite things, you guys. Bourbon soaked cherries. I've never had it. They're so good. That's what they use in Manhattan's. Really? Yeah. So it's like so. That's why they're so expensive. I was about to say a hundred dollars, seventeen dollars. Yeah, it's soaked in bourbon. Life is good. Really some God bless America. This is what I miss. You're so annoying. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> what is this? Can I see the bottle? It's a lager. It's Oktoberfest, so it's seasonal. Awesome. German beer. So it's that it's pumpkin beer. spice season. Yeah. This is not bad. Yeah. Pretty light. Yeah, Very light. 5.9 ABV. Um, if you need that, you have a serious <laughs> issue. Just let it go at this point. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> let it the fuck out. <laughs> I wish somebody would bring non-alcoholic wine to my house. <laughs> so let me break this down for y'all. What they have as just normal fruit in Kenya is considered top of the shelf organic fruit farm sourced here in the states like the vegetables that are in the regular grocery store y'all are actually real crazy real questionable like it's just really not the same so here you can go to a farmer's market where everything is quote unquote organic the basically the basic stuff you see on the street on the side of the road when you drive in and the stuff they're selling on the street every day for regular price, regular fruit, this is where you would go for that type of vibe because regular grocery stores just do not offer this. So you would think that it's real cheap because it's organic, it's not. It's actually a little more pricey. Ginger was hella expensive. Um, you can have fresh flowers. Look at these $12 for three stems of sunflowers, y'all. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God, I'm just cheap. Am I just cheap or is this actually wild? Ah, uh, you're seeing friends. You know her? She was in my school. She uh, was, she she was, was in my, nice. She was in my class last year. Really? But now she's not in my class this year. She's in my, well, she was in my class last year. Grayson! 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 Oh. oh my God, Grayson! I'm about to stop recording. Stop. <laughs>
So basically all of the processed food, jams, paste, and all that that's really expensive and considered a delicacy a lot of places in Nairobi, Ghana, South Africa, I'm sure, maybe not, but like packaged goods, like fruit jams were really expensive when I was there. You can find that kind of stuff at the farmer's market for cheap. They were selling like empanadas, apricot jam, um, a lot of just like quote unquote fruit delicacies and whatnot. So we were I just walking around. See. We had our tokens to spend. Um, Brayson was kind of bored a little, but my sister bought some tea that had the honey and the sweetener already infused in the bag. So you just had to dip it. I got some cherry tomatoes and some onions. Brayson's nose is crusty. What's new? Ha ha ha. But anyways, yeah, so um, they grow a lot of this kind of outside of where I'm living. A lot of them came from like the Reston area, Fredericksburg, which is kind of far in the farmlands because where I'm actually staying in Woodbridge does not have a lot of land that's available, especially for something like a farm because land is so expensive and then DMV that it's ridiculous. I'm a big apple person. I prefer golden crisp apples. So I got some tomatoes, some peppers, some apples. Look at this small amount of stuff I got. This box is what I got, y'all. And it was $23, $23 for a couple of peppers, a couple of tomatoes and a batch of apples. Later we went to Texas Roadhouse with my big sister, though, those are my two sisters. Punkin on the right, her name is Punkin because I don't even know, but her name is Dariana. And then Deshauna to the left, and her name in our family is Tweety. I'm Baby Cakes, Baby, Brittany, Britty Brit, Alexis. They call me everything, but Brittany, mostly Brit. So here we are, cheersing it up. Inside of that little tube that's not a straw, there's a shot of tequila and then it's a margarita. We really just came for the bread rolls. You get free bread rolls at Texas Roadhouse and it's just all vibes. So my sister is big on Instagram. So she's like, oh my God, hold on, I gotta do a boomerang. I gotta do a boomerang. So we have to stop, make that boomerang. Can I have the number two with a large fry and um, I'll take a lemonade. Also large or medium? Uh, large is good. Yeah, okay. it's good. And then I also have an order of the market salad okay. with no chicken. Gotcha. And for the... Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. For the sauce, for the sauce, I'll take the apple cider vinaigrette. Yep. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. Okay. I'll take the, the, the garden herb. Um, one of my jobs that I used to work before I became a teacher and actually while I was still teaching was to be my sister's assistant, right? So my sister was Miss DC and then she became Miss USA. So I was like her assistant and like would help her with events and like traveling and stuff. So we're, I'm helping her with an event today that she's having for one of her coworkers. Well, not coworkers cause she's the CEO. She's also the CEO of Swine. So I'm helping her with an event that she's throwing today for one of her employees who is joining the army. So this is like Party City. Um, it's like a huge party decor. It's a really big party decor place. So we're celebrating today your employee who's joining the Navy, right? Yep. No, she's not joining the Navy. What is it? <laughs> she's, um, she's been... She works for the company. She retired from the Navy years ago. Oh. So she's um, she's retiring from the company. My company. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was joining the Navy, y'all. Um, yeah, so we're looking for like Navy stuff. It's a really big store, just full of like things. Halloween is coming. Holidays are really big here. State in line. Oh, okay. Um, holidays are really commercialized. They already have all the costumes out for the kidsies and the adults who like to celebrate Halloween. All the fall gear. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And then I'm going to interview my first Kenyan guy um, in DC. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, it's just fun. I love hanging out with my big sister. She's really fun. It's always a vibe. That's all you're getting? Yeah, well, they gotta blow these up. Um, and then what else? 
<laughs> and then what that's else? You don't want more than that? Listen, that's a little car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to fit. I'm, I'm, I can, <laughs> I'll pray this fits. Honestly, I, that's what I'm most concerned about. You have a card for her? Maybe everybody can sign? No. Yeah. You know, you guys, I'm like the best party planner. I, I do this. I do this. So let's find this mama's a card. What's her name? Look at these letter boards. That's so cute. We should get her letter boards. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let me start. stop recording so that I can work real quick. You guys find these cards, I'll be back. So one thing about me, before I even moved, y'all, I have never really celebrated holidays that much with Brayson. His dad is actually very anti like commercial holidays. So we do do Halloween, but like we've never like decked the house out with Halloween things. And like for Christmas, we don't even subscribe really to like Christmas trees. We keep it really, really religious for the most part, or we make it about giving gifts. So when Brayson came to Kenya, actually last Christmas, we made food in my kitchen and spent the day riding around the Westlands, giving food to people who was on the streets, giving plates. We made 20 plates and literally was riding around. I didn't record it or post it on my story because that's not really my mojo, but this store is just very a heavily commercialized party and holiday store. Cool. So we got the balloons for her co-worker who is departing from her job basically this lady is very sweet she's retired navy and just works for free 40 hours a week for my sister and my sister really appreciates that my sister never is in dc she actually lives in chicago so she came just to check the mail in her office and to send this lady off so Otherwise that, we don't really go into DC unless we're eating something or going out to the club. This was her first time going into her swan office in the longest. DC has really changed. When I was staying here and going to Howard, I was paying $800 for a room in a house. Now you can barely even pay $800 to live in the foyer. It's probably like $2,000 for a room in the house. The houses are so expensive. But D.C. is beautiful, and the good thing is a lot of people in this area are making money because of the government jobs. Hey. Hey, I'm on the tour now. Um, we just left the garage. They do have underground garage parking. Uh -huh. And they actually have, uh, we haven't made it to the room yet. They actually are pet friendly. It's not a, a pet fee for it. And they even have a doggy park. Look. Y'all are, are such dog uh, parents. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sick of you guys. That's so cute. Look at it. It's so nice. Yeah, it looks very nice. <laughs> so look, hold on. They got like a little... Uh... I don't know why I want my phone to and so, and so, oh. you know, this, is the, this, is, this is the place that actually has the available two bedroom and they actually do have a, a sauna and spa. I'm going to send you a video. I just took a video of it. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. That's really nice. That is a really and nice then, dog park. Yeah, nice. And to make it better, we do have a little doggy spa where you can shower your baby. It's a doggy spa? Okay. This is right below this. This is the elevator, but it's right when you get out the elevator, so you can Okay. And that's where we can give them a bath. Yeah, you can give them a bath there. And then this is the garage. It's not a parking fee uh, for your spot. So a spot automatically comes with the uh, your unit. So well, this, this is the underground parking garage. So well, it's actually taller. Will we be able to have two? If two we spots. Do have uh, two two bedroom units. Two people. We have two spaces. So you get the paper. Um, right now we do have a for a second one. We currently don't have second ones right now, but I think that's good. Okay. Okay. So where would you park? You would have to park outside. Um, they actually have outside. I'll give you the spot if you have an outside street parking. Okay. okay. 
And then, hold on, this is the doggy spot. Oh, good, so we don't have to wash them in the tub. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I think I'm I saw that in the picture. I'm so tickled. <laughs> That's so cute. Very cute. Love it. Oh, I'm gonna send you the uh, the other videos too. Did y'all go up into the apartment already? No, we're on the way there now. Is this the first? The, is this the original building that yes, we wanted, or is this, this the second one that they own? So this is the show. We're here at Swan, Swan's office. Do you want to tell us what Swan is? Swan is a women veterans nonprofit that advocates on behalf of female service members and women veterans. We work with women that are experiencing sexual assault, sexual harassment, discrimination, or sexism. We also help women with their disability claims when they exit the military, making sure that they get what they need, especially those that are military sexual assault survivors. And we also help to pass legislation that helps prevent discrimination against women within their service. So. Is it like people all across America can reach out to you guys or mainly like local? Yeah, it's all, we're, we're nationwide. Wow. We even help service members that are stationed overseas. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you guys hear that? If you need any help, please reach out. I'll put Swan's information in the link below. I took off my eyelashes. You guys, I feel like they're too thick for me. I don't. I wasn't really feeling it. I just want to be able to see freely. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go. Oh, uh, these signs on the road be so hard to park. Like, can I park or not? Two hours this way. Three hours this way. No parking this way. Like, it's so confusing. You get ticketed so easily. There's so many road rules. So shared workspaces are really a thing. In order to cut costs, they don't really have a headquarters for her organization that she is the CEO of because it's expensive and everybody like works around the nation, basically. So our whole objective for this was to surprise her. The lady, Lori, is such a hard worker that she gets to work an hour before you tell her to. So we had to get there like super, super, super early. And then my sister hasn't even really been into this office like that. So we had to like get acquainted with people, meet people in the office, sneak the cake in, set it up and just hope Lori did not end up coming. Basically, so this is the workspace office. My sister said that they pay like almost $3,500 a month for her space like 3500 a month and y'all are going to see how small this little space is $3500 a month this is another lady named Lori but not the Lori that we're surprising so she is also a member of my sister's nonprofit organization that she she didn't create the organization but they put her as a CEO um especially because of her military platform when it came to pageantry which we'll talk about when I interview her. But y'all, look at this little room. That's $3,500 for a work space. But it is really nice. This is a relaxation room that's across from it where I guess you can get massages. There's lots of different other companies that work there as well. We see Job Corps, Rebel, like a, it was one that kind of caught my eye. It was like a trafficking victim, something, something. Here's the cake, fondant cake. We got champagne, balloons, ready to really turn up and surprise her. And surprised she really was. I just be vibing, y'all. I don't know none of these people. I'm just hanging out. The girl, the Spanish girl was real nice. I'm vibing. And then here is your cake. 
Oh my. Yes. Wow. Yes, thank you and good luck. I know they spelled your name wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't yes. pay that any, don't pay that, that any mind. I got to take a picture of that. That's beautiful. Yes. Boys. Yes. Since you're in the Navy, we wanted to make sure that yep. we get a nice Glad little you. sailor's cake. Going I have on. a lot of pictures for yes. you as well. Oh, so that's my baby cool. sister, by the way. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet I'm you. Nice. <laughs> it's something I always wanted and all I got was baby brothers. Oh. Oh. Sisters are pretty good. You can yeah. take me. I got sisters as well now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, take a picture. I'm so sorry that they spelled your name wrong. It was oh, too late to. Was she too gave late them the right name. Yeah, yeah, they did it wrong. I, I spelled it right when I she sent did. it to her. There we go. Perfect. Thanks. And then I want to bring you around here after you say hello to the ladies over here. Yes. And then I want you to see everybody that's on Zoom to celebrate you. Hi, everybody. Y'all can hear me. How, 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 you, how do you even know about these people? <laughs> I had the help of a lot of friends, especially Ellen, that was able to bring everyone in to be able to see you. Hi, everybody. Thanks. Great to see you all. Hello. <laughs> hey. And then as you can see, we have a lot of staff members that hey, have Bob. their hats. <laughs> Duffy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Molly, Alisa, Sydney, Jenny, Ellen. My gosh, it's still daytime and uh, still daylight in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just barely daylight. <laughs> yeah. Wow, thank you, everybody. Hi, Becky. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> Hi. So good to see you. <laughs> yeah, great to see you, everybody. <laughs> well, what we want to say, the reason why we're doing this is because you've been a volunteer with us for years. And we love you so much. Oh, my God. I cannot get emotional. <laughs> this can't happen. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh God, y'all know I don't like this. Okay, <laughs> so as president of SWAN, you have been such a dream to work under for the past two and a half years. You have been such an amazing addition to SWAN and we are heartbroken to see you go, but <laughs> we are thankful that you have agreed to transition into our board of directors. Um, so a round of applause for her for that. <laughs> You have donated your time to SWAN for over six or seven years, and you are the reason why, I know everyone gives me my credit for being such a great CEO, but I really think that it is you and the rest of my staff that makes my job so much easier. But, and vice versa. <laughs> yes, and vice versa. So I just want to tell you, I'm sorry. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and how amazing of a person you are. And this is, something small but you deserve so much and we're gonna miss seeing your face every week but thank you so much for giving us years of your time and thank you so much for being such an amazing staff member of swan for the past two and a half years and we love you so much and we're gonna miss you so much thank you and i've loved working with all of you and yes. every one of you up there uh, we've all spent time together on the same issues for <laughs> 20 years <laughs> And just yes. when we think we've got it, it changes. It changes. <laughs> but I've worked, I've enjoyed working with each and every one of you. Thanks for, thanks for coming to the Zoom party. <laughs> Definitely. And now we're going to go around and I want everyone, we'll start on the Zoom and then we'll move out here if you all want to see. You've been a volunteer with us for years and we love you so much. Oh my God, I cannot get emotional. <laughs> this can't happen. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh God, y'all know I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> so. As president of SWAN, you have been such a dream to work under for the past two and a half years. You have been such an amazing addition to SWAN and we are heartbroken to see you go, but <laughs> we are thankful that you have agreed to transition into our board of directors. Um, so a round of applause for her for that. <laughs> You have donated your time to SWAN for over six or seven years, and you are the reason why, I know everyone gives me my credit for being such a great CEO, but I really think that it is you and the rest of my staff that makes my job so much easier. But, and vice versa. <laughs> yes, and vice versa. So I just want to tell you, I'm sorry. I'm fucking dead. Oh my God. She's so dramatic. Oh Lord, y'all. My sisters are both so sensitive. It's so stressful for me. 
They're both like criers. No, her, Tweety slash Deshauna is a big crier. Then my other sister, she be wanting to cry on the inside, but she won't cry on the outside, but she'll just be mad or like sad on the inside. Girl, they are just like very dramatic. So I was trying my hardest not to hold back tears. And the lady looks a little uncomfortable, but my sister is so, she really loves her employees. Like even me as one of her employees on and off, she treats me very well. She's a very, very good boss to have. Thanks for, thanks for coming to the Zoom party. <laughs> Definitely. And now we're going to go around, and I want everyone, we'll start on the Zoom, and then we'll move out here if you all want to. So we are heading back to good old Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. That's our state slogan. Every state has a slogan. So like Georgia's the peach state. Virginia is for lovers. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So I had to get my nephews from the bus stop. It's kind of taboo to let kids of a certain age walk to the bus by themselves here. Um, I, Brayson, thankfully, his bus is right across from him and his dad's house. You can see it out the window, but I have to personally pick up my nephews. I've been helping my sister out. That's the one good thing about me being home. So my little nephew is in kindergarten and AJ is in the same grade as Brayson, which is fourth grade. I thought Pluto was a planet. Pluto is a planet, I thought. Yeah, but it wasn't. Are you sure? Yeah, Pluto is definitely a planet, AJ. Yeah, that's my phone case. Okay. Uh, this is the phone that I'm using right now. Yeah. No, this she has her phone. That's my old phone case. Oh. She gave your. Okay, little munchkin. Um, what do you know about Africa? I know. There's animals. In come there. close. Come close. Come close. What is your school? Well, first of all, how old are you? Nine. Sit down, sit down. Mm -hmm. um, you and Brayson are how many days apart? Mm, like two. Yeah, like, yeah, three. Three days. Yeah, three. three days apart. So I have been knowing you for just as long as Brayson. What have you learned about Africa in school? We haven't did Africa yet. Not yet? Mm -hmm. But what do you know just from your own research? Because you do a lot of your own research. Mm, that there's lions, just like a lion pride there that I heard of and I was watching this YouTube video about there's like six lions that took over like most of the lion population that almost went extinct but they all like that there's more more so, like there are brothers but one of the more real brothers so that's that's just what I'm telling you but there's I, I was watching this YouTube video and a lion and a tiger had a baby and it's called a liger and they're like <laughs> so big but there's no tigers in Africa though no, they're like in the jungle. Yeah. I've always wanted to take you to Kenya because you, he loves animals, you guys. So I would love to take him so he can safari. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you'll learn about Africa one day in school. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Is there anything you want to say to my channel? Mm -hmm. Don't forget, whoever lives in Africa, that African food with cassava leaf is so good. With that <laughs> rice. I'm dead. <laughs>